Yo, what is poppin'? So, if you've been on social media lately, you would have heard about the whole Kalani Party Next Door Kyrie Irving story. Now, if you don't know about it, Kalani's a singer. She was with Party Next Door. He was also a singer. Um, Party Next Door cheated on her. Kalani broke up with him subsequently and got with a basketball player called Kyrie Irving. I think he plays, does he play so it's relevant? Because I don't watch basketball. I'm not that Anyways, <laughs> she would post like pictures of her and Kyrie like, oh my days, this is my life, you can even to my fiance, blah, blah, blah. And then a few days, like, look, like a few days ago, Party Next Door posted a picture of him and Kalani in the bed. Now you couldn't see their faces, you could just see their tattoos. Now Kalani's got their arms, sorry, Kalani's got like a lot of distinct tattoos. So everyone went up in arms, was like, oh my day, she's a hoe, she's cheating on Kyrie, blah, 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 blah something other. And then the next day, she posted a picture on her Instagram with herself um, attached to an IV and said that she tried to commit suicide. Now that made me very sad. If you have suicidal thoughts, if you've ever thought about committing suicide, don't do it. That is not the answer to your problems. That is a very permanent solution to a temporary problem. Now, even if you have been going through it for a while, you're gonna make it out at the end like it's not the end of the world the fact that god has woke you up that means that there is another day there is a blessing around the corner do you know what i'm saying now i'm not here to preach to you in that i just literally i really do feel strongly about this because i feel like it it disgusts me that a young girl who is 20 yes she is seemingly living the life that a lot of people would want she clearly isn't happy she has issues there is something going on there i saw a lot of people saying that she's doing it for attention if she is doing it for attention that's attention that she needs she feels that she needs the attention and instead of to berate her and to call her out of her name and and to be so vicious and malicious maybe pray for her maybe speak words of life onto her life maybe try to encourage the girl do you know what i'm saying even people that you know in your life, if someone has said to you, well, I want to kill myself, take that seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, suicide is no joke. Once you have killed yourself, that's it. Like, you cannot come back from that. I really do feel that in the black community, we don't talk about mental health, and it's something that we need to, it's something that we need to acknowledge that is a thing, and it happens to people, and it probably happens to more people than you think, because, depression hasn't got a preference it will hit you whether you're rich you're poor black white indian or asian whatever you are depression can just do you know what i'm saying if you know anyone that's going through that if you know anyone that has any alarming signs speak to them do you know what i'm saying try to help them if you can and if you are having those thoughts call someone speak to someone call a suicide hotline please don't take your life because again once your life is gone that is it and it's over for you speak to god like he's the greatest listener of life like he has brought me through so much in life and i'm so grateful for him another thing that really pissed me off was chris brown first of all my nigga who tapped you in like this wasn't your round this isn't a tag team wrestling fight that you can just hey I tag you in let's go no christopher maurice brown please can you go sit down in that corner go to the studio write your songs and, and record your music that's all i want from you i never ever ever want to hear him talk about women again i don't want to hear him speak i literally just want music from him and that is it it annoys me even more that people agree with this nonsense that he says now i have established that there are many people in this world that hate women they like the vagina and the boobs and the mouths you know and all that and all the fun stuff but they don't like women they don't acknowledge that women are people that you know we're human beings with 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 minds and emotions and and feelings and that you know we're not a monolith of well you're either an Aisha Curry or you're a Cardi B oh there's a massive spectrum in womanhood do you know what I'm saying if you are one of these guys I pray for you. I really do.
because that hatred for women isn't natural and I really do pray that you get delivered from it especially if you're a woman because I know us women are really bad we're really really bad for it like think about it you know pray about it it's it's something that you can be delivered with delivered from I mean yeah you can you can Whew. that was really really deep I'm so sorry <laughs> I just felt like I had to say it anyways I'll see you later bye now